So this afternoon I'm working on uh, AJ Fullerton's Rock Pro 1000. It's a Fender amplifier. Got it over here on the bench. Actually made a little wood frame to hold it up today. And all my tube amplifier repairs. I got it taken apart. It uh, it crackles a lot. So this guy is a uh, uh, solid state amplifier, but it does have a uh, 12 AX7 preamp tube here. And what I noticed when I was um, kind of poking around was if I came in here and I was tapping on the circuit board, the, the speaker would make a lot of noise. So that's kind of an indication that there's a bunch of cold solder joints. And when I went down, pulled this, got this thing loose, and it turns out that when they, uh, when Fender wave soldered this, all the major, all the things that had really large diameter leads had really crappy solder joints. So I'm going through here and I'm resoldering all these um, very large uh, diameter parts like power resistors and the uh, output fats and stuff like that. So we'll come back here in a minute and uh, see if it works. I think I found it. Uh, I have AJ's amplifier here plugged into this um, old Polk audio uh, speaker that I have on my test bench for, for testing. It turns out when I do these kind of amplifiers, I think I need like a PA because I can, you know, I kind of overdrive this speaker pretty pretty easily. And then I got up my, um, my old Les Paul here. <clears throat> and I'm on the clean channel. This particular amplifier has a... Uh, a uh, preamp with uh, transistors and it has a the 12 AX7 I was telling you about on this particular channel here. So this is what it sounds like on the clean channel. And what it was doing before was those uh, those loose solder joints were doing this thing called, uh, I don't know if they call it microphony, um, but the, the speaker itself was vibrating the um, connections on these power resistors and that was added that was making it really noisy it doesn't do that anymore even with this little speaker it was doing it before so that's the uh, that's the clean channel and you click it over here to the, the tube channel so it, it's looking pretty good I'm gonna put this back together we'll uh, run it off the speaker in the cabinet and uh, see how that sounds Here's AJ's Fender Rock Pro 1000 cabinet. There's a problem with the grill, so before I put the amplifier back in, I'm going to take this grill off. It looks like there's some beer spilled on this, or somebody puked on it, or what. I don't know. It is rock and roll, after all. We're going to take this grill off, kind of clean this off a little bit, put dry it off, put it back together, stick the amplifier back in, and uh, see if it works. So I cleaned off this area of the grill, and whatever it was was highly acidic because um, it kind of took the paint off of the grill cover. Uh, let's so uh, got it turned on here. Let's plug in. Let's see if it works. I'm on the clean channel now. <laughs> sounds a lot better than the than my little uh, uh, pulp bench spent bench speaker uh, we'll click it over to the uh, tube drive Ready for pickup. 